has overcome the lions, the good news of his majesty in his Christ. And it is vital that we raise our tribal flag, the flag of the conquering lion of the tribe of Yehuda. Remember it says first to the Jew and then to the Gentile. So after the Jew, the Ethiopian Hebrew had rejected this truth even 2000 years ago. We're not even touching on Rastafari just now in this time. But what has already happened with the son is similar and very much the same as what is happening with the father. Acts 26 and 17 says, Delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles to whom now I send thee. Acts 26 and 20, but show first to them of Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coasts of Judea and then to the Gentiles. So we see the order first, you understand, know shewed first to them of Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coasts of Judea and then going abroad now to the Gentiles. If you look at the map, you can really see the real ministry of God and his work in the world and the Bible has a clearer context and we can see the similarities for our day and time and get instruction and admonition from and through the word that they should repent that they should have a change of heart they should have a change of mind and turn to God and turn to the spirit of truth and do works therefore and do the works now which are meet or proper for one who claims to have such a repentance or a change of mind. So we see the order right here that they should first repent, have a change of mind and turn to the spirit of God, which is the spirit of truth. And then to do the works which are proper for repentance or meet for repentance. Acts 26 verse 23, that Christos should suffer, that the Messiah, the anointed should suffer and that he should be the first that should rise the first begotten of the dead that he should be the first that should rise from the dead from the mutan and should shew light should shew illumination enlightenment to the people and to the gentiles so who are the people there see this is what brings us full circle in this discussion of what is the role of the gentiles or the white rastas in rastafari it shows you right here that christos first of all the moshia should suffer the anointed should suffer and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead the first begotten of the dead and Show, should shew light, should show now light, the divine light, illumination to the people. The people are the Jews. The people are the Ethiopian Hebrew. Not these Jews today who call themselves Jews, but are not. You know what I'm saying? But the true Jews in context with the history, in context of the time, and in context with the truth. So the people here are the Hebrews, the Ethiopian Hebrews, and to the Gentiles, those are the non-Ethiopian Hebrews or the other nations, the Greco, the Greeks, the Romans, the Asians, and others. We're going to conclude at 2828. 2828 of Acts of the Apostles says, Be it known, therefore, to you, that the salvation of God, the salvation of Ha Elohim, of El Elohe Israel, the God and the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is sent to the Gentiles, is sent to the Greco, to the Romans, the non Ethiopian Hebrew, the non true Jew, you understand? And that they will hear it. Now, what's amazing about this word, to show this word is prophetic and this word is true. Now that's 2,000 years ago. And if we look at history, now that we recognize who are the Gentiles and who are the true Jews, we see that this has come to pass. That when our people, our ancestors, turned their back on the word of God and were punished accordingly, even including slavery, even including what we go through to this very day and time, that the Gentiles, after the message was sent to the Greco, the Romans, the Europeans, that they heard you understand? And in part, use that word and that gospel and that ministry. Remember what it says in the Bible? That everywhere Christ is preached, everywhere Christ is preached, some preach it truly. You understand? From, from true intent and motives, and some preach it from ill and bad intent and motive. So we have another testimony as well. But the main thing is that the word is true. That the message was sent to the Gentiles. And that they will, not might, but they will hear it and the testimony of the last 2000 years is that the gentiles have heard the salvation of god that was sent to them so we should welcome our 
Gentile brothers and sisters in Ras Teferi. And we should not return evil, the evil that others have done to us. You understand? To them, but should walk in the way that has been so set. You understand? The blood, the sweat, and the tears of others, our brothers, our Christian brothers, our righteous brothers, who have, and sisters and mothers who have gone before us and have given a good witness and a good testimony. Because this is the end of the game. We, 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 you know, we're coming down, to, we're already in the last days. It should be obvious. You understand? It's not going on as it always does. It's getting worse because it is written because we're coming to those days in time. And once again, you have an opportunity to hear this message, to repent, to turn to the spirit of God, to the spirit of truth and to do the work that is meet for repentance. One who truly has had a change of mind and one who truly says that they are born again or being born again. So that's a word I wanted to share with ones and ones from a while. And there's more to it. This was just a, a summary, you understand, of some of the main points. And it was based on a, a email, well, actually a comment that we received from Elame, Elame, or Elamage, you understand, where he said that I and I come in all colors, or rather all ethnicities and nationalities. And he says that he is a European you understand, or Greco-Roman or white man, but Selassie or Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, Abatachin, our father, the God and father of Getachin, Jesus Christos, has saved his life. And we should recognize that. We should not question the ways of the Almighty if they are walking in true faith and seeking to do the work that is meet for repentance. So don't put additional burdens on, on, on the brethren. Yovas, give thanks. We welcome all faithful sheep, whether they're of this fold or of the other. Grace, peace, and truth be with you all. Salam. Uh, millions of Christians throughout the world, your imperial majesty, will regard you as the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. Overcome the lies, the good news of his majesty in his Christ, and it is vital that we raise our tribal flag, the flag of the conquering lion of the tribe of Yehuda. Remember, it says first to the Jew and then to the Gentile.